some noise for Daryl Mad Dog So you and I hit no blocks in your mouth You ain't got up in the west and south And I'm an east boy, you're a cheap boy I finish it when you start, I keep boy Joe's like me, but I'm still a sweet boy Make some noise for Oli the Juggernaut Billingham! Here he is! Five in the blue corner So two big men in the ring here, Dunn in the red corner from Bath, 28 years of age, the slightly taller man, Billingham, the juggernaut from Bristol, 30 years of age in the blue. But it's Mad Dog Dunn pounding forward here with left and right, rocking Billingham. Billingham looking to get his own offensive going. Now, as I said, he's the taller man of the two. But Daryl Dunn came out like a man on fire here to ask questions of his taller opponent. Ollie, the juggernaut Billingham, took them well though, and he's still there looking to mount his own offensive now. Hard, hurtful opening from both men. Both have landed cleanly and solidly, and both still here. It was done that set his stall out, coming across and firing off combinations. Billingham absorbed them like the juggernaut of his nickname, and then started to come back. Big left hand there from Billingham, but ships another right, and then suddenly both men throwing the leather. Big uppercut from Billingham. Dunn taking his first backward steps, then a big right from Billingham, and Dunn was spun around there, and a big right again and left, and suddenly it's Billingham, the juggernaut coming forward. Big shot to the body. Dunn looking to respond again after a solid start. Billingham switching cleverly to the body now at the calling of his corner. And it is beginning to slow Dunn down. Then the big right to the head. The variety of work coming from Billingham now. Big left. Dunn strong as an ox though and still looking to come forward with his own shots. Billingham though, now good, solid left and right as he comes forward. Good start from red, good finish to the opener from blue. So round two, and it's a hard hurtful opening round between these two men. Dunn, the aggressor early. Billingham later in the round got going and started to assert the pressure. Now it's again the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Neither man wants to give ground and suddenly it's done all over again, just as he did in the first. And now Billingham comes forward. A clash of the titans here. I said they were two big men. And there's a lot of pride between them as well here. Both have shit punishment, neither have complained. That's what Zero to Hero is all about. Taking your moment in the ring and maximising it. Look at the heavy shots these men have taken, the nose have done bloodied now. But all he's looking to do is throw back against his taller opponent. Billingham suddenly turns away as if to say, what have I got to do to get this man out of here? Dunn now bleeding freely from the nose but still throwing the leather. Billingham pushing forward once more. Both men now fatigued, but still throwing the punches. Their arm punches, 
but they're fighting on instinct, they're fighting on guts, heart and pride. Here for their teams. Real bonding exercise, zero to hero. You bond with your teammates, you get to know them, you want to fight for the team as well as yourself. And that's exactly what these two men are doing. Billingham looks to his corner for inspiration. They're both tired, they still potentially got one more round. And Wright launches, sorry, Dunn launches himself forward once more. Last 10 seconds, and do you know what? Dunn might have taken this second. Billingham trying to push him back, but good movement for Dunn. And as I said, possibly taking this second. It's very close indeed. So third and final round, and this is simply about who has got most left in the tank. And it's Dunn that's pushing forward once more. Billingham looking to match him, but Dunn firing off those right hands. Left and right, and that right gets through the channel again. Dunn, a big push here in this third round. The crowd respond to him. Now Billingham comes back and listen to the crowd here at the Hand Arena, enjoying everything that Zero to Hero has to offer tonight. Quality white collar boxing. And Dunn's gum shield drops out. He tries to pick it up with his gloves. His corner does so. So, as I said, both these men fatigued, both fighting on instinct. Who's got most left for this most crucial minute? Probably the most crucial minute of the whole fight. And it is done. Pushing forward once more. Billingham listens to his corner and guy tries to go through the centre channel here. A left lands from Dunn, a right from Billingham. Right to the end, these two big-hearted warriors. I wouldn't like to call this. I thought Dunn was really edging the third, but Billingham has just got his arms pumping to try and get back into this. Both men, incredible credit to them. Real ambassadors for Zero to Hero. And it's very tight once more. They'll be both so glad to hear the bell because they have given their all. Maybe, just maybe, Dunn will have done enough here across the three rounds with his aggressive style. And he's still trying now. Not much to choose between them, but Dunn still pushing. Last 10, and he pushes forward once more. Huge hearts, these two men. As we go into the final seconds, Three big rights, maybe, just maybe, done. But let's find out. But your winner, by split decision, is...